What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a lot right here in the Melee Melee Me Meadow, and there was a little bit of something that we forgot to do, and it was go and find the other guy's girlfriend. Now, there was another thing that we missed out on, and that was, uh, buy a lot of repels. So that's what I did off screen right here. Let's go ahead and do that. And before we do anything, let's go ahead and start giving some items out to Pokemon. Um,. Obviously, Joker is not that fast. We got a sharp beak right here in the last episode, so let's go ahead and give that to Toxic to Batman. And what else? That's pretty much it right there. Let's just go ahead and find the girlfriend. Now, holy crud. Last episode, it was a lot mainly because we got attack, uh, attacked by a lot of wild Pokemon. We forgot to buy a buttload of repels, and for me, that's a big, big, big sorry right there, guys. Uh, next time I'll be a little bit more prepared, but now let's go ahead and uh, take care of a girlfriend right here, and uh, there she is. <laughs> He's looking for me. It makes me so happy to see him search for me. It's proof of how much he loves me. Keep looking for me, baby. Okay. Um, thought that was going to be something serious about this, and where in the hell is uh, that other guy? Now, we also explored a cave right here and got a few more items, which was great. Um, eventually, well... The only problem is that we can't do anything until we get the service Pokemon. Of course, this guy's looking for his girlfriend, and well, there is nothing that we could do. I thought that there was something that was uh, that was supposed to be done right there, but I guess that was a waste of repels. Let's move on. We have to go straight back to the lab because apparently we finished out on our good uh, on our on our trial right there. Now, we were told that we have to complete the trials right here. The, the trials, that way we can finish up the grand trial. And look at this. There is a TM Pokeball right there. Can't get it right now. Obviously because of, uh, you know, we can't do anything right now because we don't have a service Pokemon. And, yes, we're going to, yeah, try Well, I was trying to look for an item right there, but I don't think there's an item. But look at this, Cutie Fly. It's attacking us all over the place. It is attacking us all over the place. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and run because we don't need none of this right here or any of that. So let's go. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's get the heck out of here. There is a Pokemon trainer right there. Maybe we could battle him. Let's see. Nope. Seeing kids like you journeying together with their Pokemon really soothes my soul. Thank you. I think I'll give you something. And look at this. We get ourselves a Soothe Barrel. Soothe Bell, I should say. And that right there will make a Pokemon even more fl friendlier towards you. It, yeah. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, now that we got the Soothe Bell, should give it to Toxic Batman right here because... Yeah, this is a this is a move. It will ev eventually evolve into a, a Crobat. And a Crobat right here is a pretty good Pokemon to actually have. And, well, let's see. I am a trainer who uses the red card item. I want to be shaken by your strength. I want you. I want to face you uh, when you've shown that you can defeat every last trainer at Route Three. I think I've already did, or are we still in Route Three? I don't even know. Well, there's a trainer. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. I draw out the power of my partner, Growlithe, by giving him an item to hold. And crud! I, well, I have Growlithe. So it looks like it's going to be a Growlithe versus Growlithe battle right here. So here we go, Rising Star Joshua wants the battle, and here he comes out with his very own Growlithe. Good gravy. Yeah, I picked the wrong Pokemon. Oh, actually, you know what? Here we have Puka. Oh, what did I do in the last... Oh, yeah. I, uh, what did I do? Oh, yeah, there was a... I went back to the Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Center to grab more, uh... More repels because, yeah, I didn't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. So, here we go with an Ember attack towards us. And that doesn't do much. So, good for us, good for us. Here we go. Aqua Jet ready to go. And there we go. Growlithe is not feeling so good right now. So, here we go with another Ember. And that doesn't do anything towards us. So, let's go again one more time. Aqua Jet for the win. And there you go. Say goodbye to Growlithe and everybody else growing. And Toxic Batman grows to level 12. Look at that. Yes, yes. We got ourselves a lot more points right there. So I think... Wait, was that... Was that the last trainer of round 3? Let's see, hold on. 
Icky Town is that way. What is this one? Okay, so never mind. Let's grab this item right here, and we found ourselves a super potion. Not bad, not bad. And let's see. There might be more trainers right here. Could be wrong. Now, their curiosity always strikes me. Let's go ahead and use a repel, just so we don't have to get attacked by any of these guys. Okay. Now we're gonna keep Ku or we're gonna keep Puka in front because. Chances are, nope, there is no Pokemon. Now, off screen, I did take on a Pokemon that was hiding be beneath the berries right there. So, that could happen. And, wow, we got a lot of berries. Lots and lots of berries. And, here we go. Look at that. Getting ourselves nest balls right here. So, collect every item that you can right here, guys. Now, if you guys can tell on the Rotom right there, yeah, we still got a long way to go to get back to Icky Town. And this guy... Hey kid, you're a local, right? From around here? I've got a favor I, I want to ask someone like you. Please, you've got to help me. Okay, sure, what's up? Okay, thanks kid. That's the Alola Spirit. You're all so nice here. I'm actually here on my honeymoon, and my beautiful bride has completely fallen for this Pokemon you have, a he or you have here called Rockruff. She just can't get enough of this cool, curled, uh, curled little tail uh, and rocky fur around its neck. I've heard that you can find... You can find them in 10 Carat Hill, but I'm actually lost here. Can you go to 10 Carat Hill and catch one for me? If you do, then I can check out its information in your decks, then I can go catch one for myself. I'll even pay you for your hassle. Think of it as a bit of a part-time work, okay? Okay. I actually want to go capture a... a rock rough. Let's see. Okay, so hold on just a sec. Hold on just a sec. Uh, let's see. How do we get to the map right here? Um, let's see. Tank carrot. Okay, so here it is. The map, and as you can see, we have visited pretty much everything except the water areas. Now we just gotta find. Hold on, just a sec. Uh, Mahalo Trail, Icky Town. This is a route to Holy Cemetery. And then, let's see, right here, Mele Mele, Seaward Cave. And it looks like to me, Ten Carat Hill is back down to where we need to be. So, actually, hold on. Hold on. What the hell did I just do? All right. He said Ten Carat Hill. It's right down here. And that is close to home. And we need to go back to Icky Town. So let's go back home, find ourselves that Rock Ruff, because I kind of want to use that Pokemon. And then, uh, you know, get paid too. There are quite a few trainers here. If you show them a Pokemon or do something for them, they will actually pay you uh, a nice amount of money. Now, I do believe I beat everybody in Route 3. So let's go ahead and take this guy on. And he's like, so you defeated all the trainers? Yes! You have shaken me from my calm repose. My heart was still a water, but no longer. Shall we start? Let's have a soul-shaking battle. Let's go. That is a good reply. I stand before you as a red card user. Okay, so here we go. Going up against a red card user. Look at the hair. Look at him. Ace Trainer Makana. Pretty good name for a good Pokemon trainer right here. So here he's going to come out with a Rock Ruff. Now here is Rock Ruff. A very popular Pokemon it does have two forms. Kind of want to use its secondary form. Now, the only problem is we can't use this guy, or we can't go against, uh, well, we can't use against, we can't use Puka against this guy because, yeah, rock type Pokemon. So, let's go ahead and return Puka. Let's go with Joker right here and see what this guy is all about. Here comes a bite attack. Oh, gravy. Okay, so let's go Aqua Jet. For the win. Look at that. Super effective. Now, I kind of want to say that Rock Ruff is somewhat of a... Oh, crud. So, he just used a red card on me. And crud brings back Toxic Batman. And here comes a bite attack. Now, I think Toxic Batman does have Absorb. Please? Yes, it does. So, here we go. Oh, crud. We're going to get bitten. We're going to get bitten to death right here. But here comes an Absorb attack. And that is super effective. That is a critical hit. So that gives us quite enough to stay alive. And, well, here comes a potion. So he's making my job a little bit easier because he's healing up his Pokemon. So here we go again. 
Absorb. Let's heal up our Pokemon right here. Alrighty, let's go talk to Batman. Let's go. It's much better than what it used to have. Leech life and all that crud. So here comes a bite attack and Jeebus criminy. That takes out our Toxic Batman. Not good. Let's go to Joker. Let's do this. Okay, alrighty. So let's go right ahead and use an Aqua Jet attack for the win. Look at this. Look at that. Say goodbye to Rock Ruff. Okay, alrighty, so we're kicking ass, look at that, growing to level 18, everybody's growing their levels too, and, well, let's see, nobody else grows a level, and here he's going to be coming out with a slow poke, let's go ahead and switch it out to Puka the Pokemon Pikachu, or whatever, now, I believe that the red card, if you do attack the Pokemon, the opposing Pokemon with the red card, it will, it, it's kind of like in soccer, it just, it, you will get expelled from the battle, I don't think you can return or anything like that until the Pokemon's been defeated. Comment down below if that's correct. And good gravy, there is a red card. So we are being returned. And now we have to be... Well, we're using Ultra Psycho. And joke's on him. We do not have an attack right here. And you have, may have made the biggest mistake of your life because this Pokemon right here is about to evolve. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Dump Truck right here. Now it is a risk using Dump Truck, a poison type Pokemon against a psychic type Pokemon right here. But I don't think Slowpoke has any kind of psychic attacks just yet. And well, here we are battling our hearts out. So let's go straight for a bite attack. Hopefully this does it. Let's go Dump Truck, bite attack. Takes a nice chunk, and here's a Poison Touch, just to add a little bit more to it. And because of this, he's going to be losing some points because of these Poison, but we're going to be falling asleep right here. Okay. I think I did stock up on uh, on uh, Awakenings. And it looks like, yes, we do have quite a few Awakenings. So there we go, we're waking up Dumb Truck. Look at that. Wake up, homie. And this guy uses a full heal just to cure its Pokemon. So we're back at square one. Let's go with a bite attack. And here we go. Dump Chuck does its thing. What now? What now? And what now? So there it is. Dump Chuck grows to level 15. And it wants to learn Acid Spray. So let's see what this is all about. Acid Spray. The user spits fluid that uh, that works to melt the target. This harshly lowers its special defense stat. Okay, so that right there is a... Oh, no! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I should have taught it. I really hope we have a remover learning around here. Oh, crud. I made a big mistake. Holy crap. Okay, so we won. Oh, my God. Well, here is our next evolution. Ultra Psycho is evolving yet. Well, not again, but it's evolving right now. And, well, who says that I am not going to evolve it again? I'm still a little pissed off at myself for not teaching Acid Spray. So there it is. Kadabra. How's it going? What's up? It's a very powerful Pokemon for Generation 1 and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look. At its uh, data right here, look at this, number two, registered, yeah buddy, look at that, okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here, Kadabra the Psy Pokemon, Kadabra's presence infests in televisions and monitors with the creepy shadows that bring bad luck, that's scary, that is very, very scary, so now after evolving right here, Kadabra has learned Kinesis and Confusion, so this is, this is a, you know, a nice step in the next direction right here. And so after defeating this guy, he will actually give you the item red card. And well, let's see. Here it is. We got the red card right here. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. So the effects of the red card are as I illustrated it to you in battle. You will likely find another trainers like me on routes of Alola searching for strength. Challenging them together with your Pokemon will not be a bad reason to take a journey. Yeah, okay, I'm still a little pissed off about Acid Spray right here. But it is what it is, guys. I may or may not, you know, a little too quick to the trigger right there. Okay, so let's move on right here. This has opened up for us. And okay, so here we are going back. 
And well, here we are back at Route 1, close to home and everything else in between. And well, let's see. I think we need to go straight to. Yeah, we need to go right here. Because I think we have to take on uh, the the uh, kahuna of this island. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and use a revive right here. And what else? Now I've I you know me playing Pokemon Sword and Shield has got me all used to like you know actually switching out Pokemon right there, not going to the PC or anything like that. But Jeebus. And then, and then again, it just makes me feel a little bit awful too, just because, you know, I didn't get the, I didn't get to figure out how to get this, uh, this whole thing going and all that stuff. We could have been done, and I couldn't have, you know, been feeling this way right now. So, let's see. Confide. This one right here tells the user's secret and loses the ability to concentrate. And okay, so. Alrighty. So before we do anything. I want to evolve my Pokemon right now. I want to evolve Kadabra again. So hold on just a sec, guys. I'm going to be right here taking off my headset right now. All right. Okay. So yes, we're going to we're going to try and evolve this Pokemon right now because kind of kind of want to use him right here for this Kahuna battle. Now, there was one thing that kind of bugged me about Pokemon Sun and Moon, and it was the obvious. You can't, you can't necessarily use the Wi-Fi the way you did back in Pokemon X and Y and Omega Ruby. In fact, uh, I think that's where they kind of screwed up with the whole, the, the whole thing. In Pokemon Sun and Moon, they, you kind of have to go to like a palace to just get this, this thing going. So we're gonna go straight into the Festival Plaza right here. Now. When you're in the Festival Plaza, they make a huge stink about you. Got to learn this. You got to learn that. This is ridiculous, and well, let's go right ahead and let's see, let's see, back into the Festival Plaza right here, and okay, so my next guy is right there, so we're going to be trading, we're going to be trading right here, and we're going to be doing a little bit of a link trade for both Pokemon trainers right here. Now, if you guys are wondering, yes, the name right there is Edgar, that is actually my middle name, so I like to use both names. Just for different reasons and all that stuff. And, well, I turned down the response, so. Let's see. Let's go ahead and, yes, let's go ahead and ask my other partner right here. And. No, I don't know. Okay, hold on just a sec. Kind of want to trade the Pokemon right now. Oh, huh. <laughs> okay, so one has to make a request and the other one has to just not turn it down. So. Let's go ahead and do this again. Yes, let's go ahead and ask. And yes, withdraw our request and of course we're getting we're getting turned down. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. And here's the request. I think Okay, so there it is. Okay, so now I just got to press onto this button, press the Y button right here. And it looks like we are connected. So every so often, guys, you are going to be seeing trades. Now, I know a lot of you guys like this. So what we're going to do right here is I am going to be trading my Ultra Psycho straight to my other version right here. And... Just to make it a little bit simpler, as you can see, I do have Hydra in the other game. The shiny Hydra that I was talking about, and the Mud Spray that, that I actually caught. Both shiny Pokemon right here. And, well, let's see. You know what? I do have... I do have a Kadabra at the same level. So let's go right ahead and... Let's go ahead and both trade the same Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and trade, trade, and see a simple evolution right here. So... As you can see, there is an attention, and well, bam. So that's a, uh, ain't that kind of great, guys? You kind of, that's something new that you guys didn't know about, that my middle name was Edgar, so it was a uh, freaking hilarious right there. So here it is, centering Ultra Psycho to myself, and here we are, sending each other the same Pokemon. So we're going to see evolutions, we're going to get, you know, progress in our, in our Pokedex and all that stuff. 
And bam. There you go. Kadabra, what's up? Both saying what's up, what's up. And because of that, we are getting an evolution in both versions right here. So there it is, evolution. They're both in sync, by the way. So let's see, we're going to be pressing the A button right here. There we go. So Kadabra is now digivolving into what would be one of the most powerful Pokemon back in Generation 1 through 2. Before, you know, they started adding a dark type Pokemon. Look at that. We got ourselves an Alakazam. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and take a look at this Pokemon from the Pokedex. Bam! Registered and everything. Look at that. Okay, so we completed one portion of our Pokedex right here. Hot diggity, look at it. You're on fire, partner. You filled in on... You filled in on... The single Pokemon page and yada yada yada. Okay, so I can't read. So as you can see, here it is, Alkazam, the Psy Pokemon. Its brain cells continue to increase in number until its death. The older the Alakazam, or the older the Alakazam, the larger its head will be. Okay, so that is a that is kind of scary because that means it's a super genius in all that crud. Okay, so bam, we've completed that portion right there, and well, let's see. I haven't caught everything yet. Once I made uh, more captures, then I will be trading some more Pokemon right there. But that is the end of that right there, guys. And yes, we are quitting the Pokemon trade. Eventually, I will I will trade over those shiny Pokemon. And well, I'm gonna close this down right here. And we're gonna get the heck out of here because we do not need to be in the trade plaza. So let's go ahead, press the Y button. Why the Y button? It's beyond me. So there you go, guys. The first ever trade that we've ever encountered right here in a Pokemon game. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our new Alakazam. And, oh, crud! <laughs> Would you look at that? Okay, so that's not my Alakazam. <laughs> we need to trade him back. Okay. Yeah, we, we need to do that. So, my bad, guys. Alright, let me edit this portion right here so we can get to Alakazam. <laughs> All right, rookie mistake. My bad, guys. Completely forgot that this this guy right here wasn't mine. So there it is, guys. We are trading back our Alakazams. We're both completing our whole thing. That is great. It is awesome that we get to trade, and you guys get to see it firsthand right here. So there you go. What's up? It's Ultra Psycho yet again. All righty. Okay, all righty. Let's get the heck out of here. And... Well, we don't need to trade anymore. We do not need to trade anymore. We are going to... Yes, we are going to quit this one right here. We are going to hit it and quit it. Okay, so here we are back. Let's go ahead and again take a look at our Ultra Psycho now. This is our Ultra Psycho. Summary and everything. Bam. Same moves and whatnot. As you can see, its special attack is through the roof. It has a large amount of speed. Its physical portion is the downfall right here because, uh, yeah. It, 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 yeah, yeah. It's not the most physical one. It's more mental than anything. So, let's go right ahead and take care of business right now. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and, uh, Go straight right here to where we need to do and take on the Kahuna himself. I'm looking forward to seeing them, uh, what moves you and your Pokemon will pour your soul into. Now that you've gone and cleared the for your first trial, Draven, it's true. I'm not a trainer. I'm sure I don't really understand how hard it must have been, but I even think it's great. It's a great achievement. And of course, pew! The Melly Melly Kahuna is strong, cousin. He's a trainer who can use fighting type Pokemon at his fullest, yeah? Might not be a bad idea to work with those flying and psychic type moves. <laughs> oh man, you are screwed. You are screwed. 
<laughs> it, was, it so happened that I may or may not have evolved a certain Pokemon for this situation. Completely forgot that we were taking on a, a fighting type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and handle business right now. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. So this is like the equivalent of a gym battle right here, too, guys. Holland's like, congratulations on clearing your trial in the Verdant Cavern. Good work. I suppose you're here to battle the Kahuna. You think uh, you and your Alakazam are ready for me, Draven? Sure. I did trade that Pokemon for this reason. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Okay. So this is kind of like a another version of a Pokemon gym battle here, guys. This right here will give you a blessing. So he's like, oh, I have exp I've been expecting you. Allow me to promptly greet the young adventurers embarking on the island challenge. I am Hala, the Kahuna of the Mele Mele Island. Shall we begin? The final trial here on Mele Mele Island will be a Pokemon battle against me, the Kahuna. It is known as a grand trial. Well, Draven, you have been entrusted with the sparkling stone of Tabu Goko. Now show me you and your partner, Alakazam, and your team's full power. Old Hala here will also be going all out. Let the grand trial begin. Okay, so here we go. Grand trial number one, and it is against Island Kahuna Hala. Ready to go, and he is going to be coming out with a Mankey now. Yeah, this, 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 like it slipped my mind completely, guys, that I that about the Kahuna right here. And it was probably a great thing that I actually traded for this Pokemon. So let's go with the confusion now that we are faster than this guy. Kind of unfair. It really is because, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. We're kicking ass. Okay, so he's going to be coming out with a Craballer. And this is a Pokemon that usually hides under the berries. Did battle against this guy. Thought it was a Water-type Pokemon. Was it? So let's go with the confusion yet again. Oh my god. Yeah, we are... Oh, wow. Oh, damn. And here comes a Pursuit Attack. That right there takes a huge chunk out of my HP. So let's go straight for another Confusion. Hollow, of course, will heal his Pokemon. And that will bring him back to a full strength. But here comes another Confusion Attack. This time, for the win, Crabrawler defeated. Oh yes, my Pokemon are growing levels, but guess mooching off of Ultra Psycho right here, and here he's going to come out with a Makuhita, so let's go right ahead and finish this guy off. Hopefully we can finish him off right here, so let's go straight for a Confusion Attack. Oh yes, look at that. And here comes a Sand Attack, straight from Makuhita himself, trying to blind me just a little bit now. He could have just hit me physically. That technically is uh, cadaver. The well, that is technically its weakness right there. And unfortunately, we don't have any keen eyes. So, let's go straight for another confusion. Come on! Wow, you're seriously gonna try and blind me like that? Oh my god, this is getting annoying. And here comes an arm thrust, which is basically you know a multiple attack right here. Okay, so yeah, not so effective. We are on e even playing ground right here, and here comes a final confusion attack for the win. Say goodbye to Makuhita. What now? What now? Throwing out that peace sign. Whoa! Well played! And... Wow. So I think that was like the equivalent of a gym battle. I want to say that. He is laughing his butt off, and he's like... Hmm. <laughs> The results come to as uh, come as no surprise to me. What a fine trainer and what a fine Pokemon too. Tapu Koko Koko. It, it, it would appear that we please the Pokemon, huh? Oh, and our mighty Tapu Koko agrees. Huh. Perhaps Tapu Koko is hoping what the day may come that you will grow strong enough to battle it as well. Except the Z Crystal, it allows trainers to share their power with their partner Pokemon. So there it is, guys. Look at that. We're getting ourselves another Z crystal. And this one right here is the Phytinium Z, I think. Yeah, look at that. Grand trial completed. Bam. Stamp of approval and everything. Wow. Fist of the Beast King, too. Okay. Alrighty. 
Alrighty, so we got the fight the Phytinium Z, which will power up any kind of fighting type moves. So Tabu Hala or Hala is gonna be like observe Draven. If you wish to use the fighting type Z power, move your arms like this and bend your hips like this and pose. Oh damn. Okay, alrighty, alright. Now then, Draven. With this victory, you have cleared all the trials of Mele Mele Island and the first Alola Islands. Mele Mele stamp of proof of your accomplishment. With it, Pokemon up to level 35, even those you received in a trade, will obey you. The moon in the daytime, the sun at night. Now, now to see if you can pour your heart into something that cannot be seen and is very much real. As you continue your island challenge, consider what makes up the people and Pokemon you, that you meet, both what you can see and what you cannot. You will surely meet Tapu Koko again someday. Okay, alrighty, look at that. And, whoa, damn, okay, so here we have Tauros right here. Whoa there, Tauros. And I guess we are loved. We are, we are actually, yeah, we're loved. Okay, I've got an idea. How about I set you up so you can ride my Tauros whenever you like? No no reason why he shouldn't get to enjoy the Island Challenge too. More. I'll take care of all the little things you need in order to ride Pokemon, Draven. So here it is. We grab ourselves another item, which is the Ride Pager, which enables us to actually use service Pokemon. Why don't you hop on there? Okay. Will it, like, buck me or something? I don't even know. And look at this. Pressing on that button, and bam! We go into our nice suit, and now we can actually ride Tauros and use its strength to actually break some boulders and everything. <laughs> the world looks a bit different from atop a mighty Tauros, eh? See, Draven? Here in Alola, our Pokemon lend us their strength and let us ride about on them. Let me explain some of the gear I gave you. Your ride pager is a tool that lets you summon a ride Pokemon. According to the instructions, you need only to press the Y button to turn on your ride pager. Use the B button to dash. And your riding wear will be a special outfit you wear when riding a Pokemon. Have a little romp around Alola with Tauros here. I'm sure you'll be charmed by him. When you use your ride pager ride Pokemon, it will kindly come running to help you whenever you may be. Okay, alrighty. And because of that, Nima, that's what her name is. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of your guys' comments and all that stuff. Uh, she's congratulating us. She's like, I hope you find a right page useful. I worked on developing it with a friend of mine. I'm amazed that you won without even using your Z power. Let's have a Pokemon battle the next time we meet. Very well, then. Off on your island challenge, you go. May the future bring you happiness. Okay, alrighty. Alright, Draven. With a little help from Tauros, you can smash right through those big rocks on Route 1. Alright, I've got a little something for you, too. And here we have the TF-54 Fall Swipe, which will allow us to actually, you know, hit a Pokemon, but leave it with 1 HP. That way we can actually capture it just a little bit easier in all that crud. It's actually a very good move that we can need, that we need. Okay, all right, time to get the boat ready. Lily, are you ready to uh, help me clean it? Okay, so... Damn, there's a lot of cutscenes right here. Um, I actually wanted to ask you a favor first, Draven, if that's all right. Sure, whatever you say, baby. You see, Nebby is, uh... Its home is really far away from here, and I want you to help it get home. It's like I told you before, Nebby saved my life once when I was in trouble, and I wanted to save it. I feel like there's not much I can do on my own since I'm not a Pokemon trainer. But if I had a real trainer like you helping me, Draven, then maybe. But I probably shouldn't ask a near stranger to help, right? I know it's just my own wish and it's nothing to do with you. Oh, I'll help. You know I'll help. Look at you. God damn. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I always land the number 10s, right? Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad. I really didn't know what else to do. Then I suppose the two of us... The two of us will be heading to the next island as well. Pew! Okay, alrighty. So, that's pretty much it right there, guys. We finally got ourselves another, you know, 
uh, Z Crystal and whatnot. In the next episode, I'm going to take a small portion of that episode to, you know, cover the whole island where the rocks may be and all that stuff, take care of a, a few other stuff. And then after that, we're going to be setting sail to the next island. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.